from February 5th to February 11th and it says the above sign is to be granted meals and lodging. Seaton House, Man's Hostel, 339 George Street and there you have it. Over here we have the cafeteria or rather the dining hall. It is not open currently. In fact, I'm actually waiting for it to open in that special expectation about a couple of hours. So let's give you a little tour, shall we, dear viewers? The resident program center. I can't wait to get inside here. It looks like a lot of fun in the making. Musical instruments and what not were lined up here in the morning. The fact that they are not here right now, in fact, is a good sign. It means, of course, that people have been manipulating them. So we're moving down the hall towards the TV area. You can see miscellaneous people in the dining hall. Not sure what they're up to there. Usually there's a long line up over here at meal time. The nice thing about Seton Hall is that basically you get to stay inside the building during the day with a lot of these uh, shelters, dear viewer, you are out of your bed at like 8, you know, or you're out of the shelter at like 8, and you're given access again maybe at 4 o'clock. And from 8 to 4, what you do is up to you. Laundry, actually this is for, not for, this is for the, uh, the staff, not for us. But you can see, uh, you know, the remnants of where TV used to be, ping pong, and this guy kind of out. There is a TV over there working. Out here we have the yard. The yard is actually pretty cool. We might as well go out and check things out. It's been horrible weather. It's the 5th of February, right? And uh, 2014. And there's got, you've got like a lot of this, like few inches, as you can see, of this slushy, nasty, wet snow. But snowboarders like for sure. But, you know, I was listening to the news, dear viewer, and there's like an a, a min, an accident a minute happening. An accident a, a freaking minute. Huh? Yeah, no, don't worry. I didn't I didn't put you in there, man. I'm avoiding I'm avoiding people. Don't worry. So yeah, um, you know it's that kind of day. Um, and people, you know, just come out here, hang out, enjoy the fresh air, smoke, you know, roll joints, <laughs> things of that nature. Get a viewer. and. Uh, Look at these rad shoes I picked up. Colos, huh? God is great. I mean, you'll be you'll be surprised if I t if I tell you, dear viewer, that I just found them. Like I find I find things. I find whatever I need. Right? Look at the beautiful artwork. Oh my God, it's, isn't it gorgeous? And so this is where we do the laundry. And uh, you know, you got to line up in advance. It's it's pretty busy the whole time. But, uh, you know, I find stuff I need, like different kinds of clothes. Like I find, for instance, I find a suit and and a nice pair of shoes so that I can give interviews here. It's a very odd kind of thing. Or I'll find a jacket. This jacket I bought, I went to Winners and I paid like 200 bucks, or like 80 bucks for it. It's a $230 end up jacket. Map of the GTA, always a useful thing to have around. So, yeah. Basically, whatever I need, like from suits to shoes to whatever, really whatever. It's it's really amazing. I don't know how other people survive on the street, but 
you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of me on the street just like he's taking care of me for life. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. I'm very careful that way, man. Don't worry about it. I know it's the ghetto, man. So, yeah, like, uh, people are very careful of, of their privacy. And they have every right to be, right? Anyhow, this is the second floor. Hopefully, I'm going to have a bed here sometime. Right now, I'm technically an overflow person. Overflow means, you know, there's no beds available. And they just chuck me out into, uh, well, not out into the street. Thank God they can't do that. That's, I guess, where I was going with that one. But, uh, you know, here's a little courtyard, small for two. You can see that nobody's been out here. And actually, it's shut. But, uh, just love the snow out there, right? I remember standing here smoking when I was here, um, 2012. Like, February 2012, I was here for two weeks. And, uh, you know, just standing out there having a cigarette in the sense of kind of this forlorn kind, of, uh, forlorn kind of feeling of what's going to happen. You know, thank God it's not like that now. You know, I'm making the most of the shelter. I get up in the morning, you know, I have a nice breakfast. Right around the corner is a employment and resource center. I can use the computers. I've got this great phone now. You know, I can work remotely. I can do a bunch of stuff. You know, the government is supporting me because of my bipolar issues and not being able to keep at work and getting kicked out of basically all these different places where I've been living over the last while. Because of these things, um, you know, I get ODSC, which means that uh, the, government, the government basically gives me money. I mean, that's really all that is. It's like a welfare system. You know, because I can't take care of myself, you know, the government takes care of me. So this is kind of a place where you find stuff, like in a locker, like sometimes people leave and then they leave their stuff or you'll find stuff in the bin or just in a pile in the, on the side. So these beautiful shoes, beautiful leather shoes. And I, and I literally have, a, um, you know, I, I basically have a, a couple of lockers here. You know, I'm only meant to have one locker, but God is great. You know, I have two lockers. I just figured it out. The way they have the lockers is that when you need a locker, you need to ask them. You know, oh, oh yeah, this one right here. You can see this locker is here, but it doesn't have the the piece. See, that locker that locker is mine too. I put a bed in there, a bed sheet. But this locker doesn't have a piece. What You register the locker, and then they'll give you the piece to put uh, put your lock on. So that's it. There's your... You know, I think we can conclude our little uh, homage, as it were, to Satan House, a.k.a. Satan House. It seems to have toned down a bit since I was here last. You know, I'm making the most of it. And uh, God willing, I'll be, I'll be out my, on my way into the, to the, to the blue yonder soon. So thanks for watching. Over and out.